Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. So remember for arbitrary ring A, the cool dimension of A, we have seen it is the supremum of dimensions of A localized at P. The supremum is running over prime ideals. So in order to compute this or understand this, one want to concentrate on the each localization. So, therefore, sometime onward, now we will assume we will concentrate on local rings. So, local rings. So, that is a ring, commutative ring with only one maximal ideal that is also denoted by M. And M is uh, the Jacobson radical of A. So, Jacobson radicals are usually denoted by M suffix A that is intersection of all maximal ideals and also now there is only one residue field. So, that residue field is also sometimes denoted by k suffix a. So, we have such such a local ring this is the maximal ideal this is the residue field of m. Now, from this I want to get a graded ring standard graded ring and apply this Hilbert in the Poincare series and then uh, so uh, before I forget this integer d we got we want to prove that is the dimension that I have not yet proved. So, that is uh, that is I will prove this d is actually the dimension and then how am I going to go further. So, for this local ring from a given local ring I will I will define I will attach a graded ring. And then for that graded ring, we have this theory of Poincare series and so on, and then we get the integer out of that, and that integer is nothing but the cool dimension. That is what we will prove. So, in particular, what we would have got as a consequence, in particular, cool dimension of a local ring is actually an integer, so finite. So, but that doesn't show that cruel dimension of an arbitrary ring, arbitrary commutative ring, even assume Noetherian, that it is finite. In fact, that is not true. So, because it is a supremum over these integers and this may be increasing. So, also uh, uh, we will, I will show you examples of Noetherian ring. Uh, with uh, infinite cool dimension with infinite cool dimension uh, construct examples of noetherian ring with uh, infinite cool dimension this for this kind of treatment you will see a book by nagata local rings. I, in fact, I only reference I know is this this book, we, only these books deals with such examples and actually this book is one of the early book and this book is not so easy to read, but on the other hand the material this book contains you cannot find any other book. Okay, so, what is the what is the graded ring which uh, which we define out of the local ring. So, that is called associated graded ring. Graded ring of a local ring. That is the following. So we have a local a and m. M is the maximal ideal. So you put k equal to a by m. 
and and then put um, put a m so put m power n by m power n plus one. Now these are these are annihilated by m, so therefore they are a by m models. Right, so I can form their direct sum. These are modules. This is a field. So I can look at a by m direct sum m by m square and so on. Direct sum m power n by m power n plus one and so on. And this the this now we have to Right now, we have only a direct sum of abelian groups. We want to make it as a ring. Uh, we know also each one of these, each one of these component is actually a vector space over a by m. So this standard notation for this is G R suffix m a. This is called the associated graded ring of the local ring a m. Now, what is the ring structure there? So I I only have to give you how you multiply how you multiply the elements right so if you have one element x bar in m power r by m power r plus one this is homogeneous element of degree r and also other one y bar in m power s by m power s plus one. Then I want to multiply them. So first you multiply as usual x y. Now what does this x bar is here means? That means x is an element in m power r, and this x bar is the image modulo m power r plus one. Similarly y. So x y as usual this will be an element in m power r times m power s, which is contained in or equal to m power r plus s. And now I take its image in when I write x bar times y bar. This should be x y bar in m power r plus s modulo m power r plus s minus one. Now plus one. Take the image there, and now we will have to check this definition is well defined. So check that. With these definitions, this G R M A is a graded ring. In fact, standard graded A by M algebra. So actually, really, the theory I will use in this particular case is only for uh, when R not is a field. But for for more uh, more general applications, uh, I will only not only do this concept for the maximal ideal, but the powers of maximal ideals, or not even powers of maximal ideals, but so-called M primary ideals. So more generally. Define G R Q A for arbitrary M primary ideal Q, and that will be now graded A by Q algebra, standard A by Q algebra, standard. A by Q algebra. Now you see here, this A by Q is not a field in general, but it's it's an Artinian ring because you have gone modulo of primary ideal. So there is only one maximal ideal. It's an Artinian ring, and there is uh, dimension zero. So therefore, it is an Artinian ring. So length makes sense, and so on. So then. Uh, one applies the earlier theory for this graded algebra
and then we will get the Hilbert polynomial and then we will get the degree and we will get those integers and so on. So, I will continue next time with this uh, more general setup and uh, use standard examples of the graded ring usually arise from a local ring. So, if you have a local ring A m, local ring, then to this local ring we associate this new ring which is R uh, A by A by m direct sum m by m square direct sum so on direct sum m power n by m power n plus 1 and so on. So, this uh, note that this each component here. So, this is a direct sum of abelian groups, but each component here is actually annihilated by m therefore, they are also a by m modules. So, therefore, this is indeed uh, uh, ring and the ring structure is the addition is clear because it is a direct sum of abelian groups and multiplication is if you have an element x x bar in m power r by m power r plus 1 and another one y. So, to define a multiplication I only have to define it on the homogeneous components and then extend it by distributive law. So, this is if I have two elements like this. So, you take a lift here that means you choose x so that x belong to m power r and y so that y belong to m power s and you multiply them as in the ring and take its residue class. So, this is the residue class of x y in x because x is here and y is here the product will be in m power r plus s. So, take its image modulo m power r plus 1. And here check that this is actually a graded ring and it is generated it is a standard graded ring. So, this is called associated graded ring of A with respect to M. So, G R M A is a standard graded A by M algebra and nothing special about M, but we could do it little bit more generally. So, what we could do is if you have a local ring A M local ring and we have a primary ideal Q, Q is M primary ideal. So, that means this ring A by Q is actually Artinian ring. And then we instead of um, M we can repeat this the above process for Q. So, associated graded ring of A with respect to Q it is denoted like this G R Q A this is A by Q direct sum Q by Q square and so on. So, this is the standard graded A by Q algebra and now A by Q is Artinian. So, we have the Poincare series because A by Q is Artinian and so on and that is a numerical function which is a polynomial function of degree. Now, this is standard graded algebra generated by this component. So, that will depend that is the number of generators for this as a A by Q module is precisely the minimal number of generators for Q. So, minimal number of generators for Q this is if if you have the generators minimal generators for Q, Q x 1 to x n in Q then this is R uh, n 
So, you get a polynomial function of degree less equal to n minus 1. So, that polynomial function arose from the, the Poincare series that is the function m going to length of a by a the a by q module q power m by q power m plus 1 okay, this function and then when we want to uh, do the the integration of that that will increase the degree by 1 when i say integration means you the operator f to df and the other way from df you can get uh, f so okay so uh, so that uh, polynomial usually denoted so hq hqm more generally hqm for any finitely generated m is finitely generated a module and q is a primary ideal then hqm is the function from z to q which is defined at every m it goes to length of q power m m modulo q power m plus 1 times m and then we uh, this is a polynomial function so for large m it will agree with the polynomial with the rational coefficients and that polynomial usually will be denoted by pm pq m so this is a polynomial with rational coefficients x so that they agree for large um actually there is a slight uh, a twist in the notation that for when i say pq i usually consider not this function but the integration of that function that is m going to length of length as a a by q module of m by q n plus 1 q m plus 1 times m so when i add up this up to m they will get this question because the length gets added like that so if i would have considered for this function then the d of this will be so so this in this notation this hq m at any m will be d p q m at m for large m so when i differentiate it i will get uh, this formula for this okay all right so the theorem we have proved is uh, this pq the same notation mm -hmm. as above pqm is a polynomial function of degree less equal to mu q where mu q is the number of generators for q because if I have a minimal set of generators for Q, then they will their uh, uh, residue classes mod Q square will generate the associated graded ring as a standard graded algebra. Okay. So well, we can write down a proof for this again. Proof. Okay. So we are putting r equal to g r q a and n equal to g r q m. 
so i have a graded ring and i have a graded module and we have the right assumption a by q is artemian this is standard graded generated by the residue classes of the minimal set of generators of q mod q square so in that notation uh, uh, this h h n is a polynomial function of degree less equal to less equal to mu q minus 1 because we are considering when i said h1 that is h0 you remember h1 was a uh, integration of h1 so therefore if you take uh, this one for dq d pq of m which is hq of m which is hq of n so this is a polynomial function so it's a polynomial function because this hq is a polynomial function of degree less equal to mu minus 1 this one pq so i should write here that implies pq m is a polynomial function of degree one more than this less equal to mu q okay so now a couple of observations um like you now what happened to the leading coefficient so that is the lemma lemma says the degree we know degree is less equal to the minimal number of generator generators for q so the degree of pq m does not depend on the m primary ideal q so that means if i take a different primary ideal then the degrees will be the same so Uh, so proof observe that um q is m primary and m is maximal so that should imply that some power of maximal ideal will be contained in q And therefore the nth power of r power n m m m power r power n m power r n is contained in q power n i should write m actually m this is contained in m power m and therefore um, when i take uh, p q pq of m at this rm minus 1 this is the smallest so that this length will be the biggest and that will be that will be bigger than this pq m uh, of m minus 1 and this is bigger equal to p m m m minus 1 so i have these polynomial functions and there so that shows the degrees so this one and this one 
so that will show that uh, this pm pm m and pq m have the same degree their polynomial all these are polynomial functions and because of this inclusion no, this bigger equal to thing their degrees will be same yes yes this should be pm this is coming from here no this is pm yes thank you so these two polynomial functions are whatever degree is when you substitute the variable to be equal to r times m and it's bonded this polynomial function is in between them therefore they have the same same degree leading coefficient changes so actually leading coefficient also we can keep track so what we this lemma says that the degree of this pqm is independent of q so therefore that is an invariant of of m so the degree of p q m this is usually denoted by tm this is invariant of m it doesn't depend on the ideal q okay also uh, uh, simple observation like what we did earlier for a graded ring um if you have a exact sequence of modules short exact sequence of so all this discussion goes under the assumption that a comma m is a local ring and all these uh, m m prime m m double prime are finitely generated modules over a this is a short exact sequence of a modules then uh, uh, the degree of pq middle plus degree of degree of this plus so plus plus minus plus right so degree of this degree of you oh know pq of this is m prime this is m double prime minus pqm this degree is strictly smaller than degree of pqm remember this in such a situation when you take the hilbert series it will be alternating sum is zero so from that you get so this this is this is coming out of the alternating sum and the degree is strictly smaller than the degree of this so again we have proved this but again you can uh, uh, write the proof uh, so proof we can assume we may assume m prime is non zero otherwise these are isomorphic and there is nothing and q we can put this inside thing put q is this pq m prime plus pq m double prime minus pq m so now this 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 sequence will induce a exact sequence like this when you tensor with with a by q power n plus 1 a tensor product is right exact but not left exact so when you write start writing the long exact sequence this is m double prime q n plus 1 m double prime to 0 then here it will be m by q n plus 1 m and here 
will be here will not be exact so but i want to make it exact so to compare the lengths so this is m prime by m prime n plus 1 and i want to put a zero here where m prime at n this will be actually q m prime this m prime and intersect with the kernel of that so intersect with q power n m so this is m prime n so when you intersect with the kernel and go more the next one this is exact so this is exact and then then you compare the lengths so that will give you q p q m prime from here minus f where f is will come from the length here where f at n will be equal to m prime modulo m prime n plus 1 and now here uh, to continue the proof i need uh, so called rt indris lemma yes oh so this is the length this is uh, this is the length sorry this length is same as summation length of m prime i modulo m prime i plus 1 and this is i up to n so when i take the sums when i from this exact sequence and i take the length and then add up so this here i will get um here i will get p q m here i'll get p q m double prime but that difference this is with the plus sign and this is with the minus sign then that difference will be coming from here that is what our q is and that therefore is q will be equal to the difference of what i wrote this function and that pm pqm prime 